What's up, gamers? Here with me today, and today we'll be reviewing MSI Center. I love this piece of software as it's jam packed with many useful features. This software comes pre installed with any MSI device, and I'll link um, the one I'm using in the description. Alright, now without further ado, let's get into it. So, on the top left here, we have a hybrid monitoring section. Finally, uh, that took a bit to load. Anyways, so you can see our CPU and GPU usage here, our storage and memory usage here. We can see the model of our CPU and GPU. We can see how much RAM we have. We can see the rotations per minute of our fan. Um, we can see how much of our storage is being used. We can see Wi-Fi speed. We can see uh, CPU and GPU temperature and our GPU and GPU VRAM clock. All right, let's go features. So it's MSI AI engine. This basically is like, this tool allows you to like speed up your PC with the help of uh, AI. So utilize to provide utilize AI to provide real time optimized system adjustments based on the usage context. MSI AI engine eliminates the need for you to fiddle with various settings, saving time and efforts. All right, now user scenario. So here we are. You see, since I chose, since I selected um, MSI AI engine, you can see it's enabled in the user scenario area. Basically, you can see here. These are performance modes. So we have super battery, which is the best battery life, silent, which is the quietest system, extreme performance, which is the, uh, the highest performing mode, and uh, balance, which is in between extreme performance and silence, and MSI AI engine, which is like um, uh, AI generated performance. Uh, you can also see here there's a GPU switch. I think I covered this in my Cyber 14 review video, link in the description. Uh, you can see here, you can change the GPU. So you can change it from a uh, from your dedicated GPU to your integrated GPU and your integrated GPU to your dedicated GPU, but you need to restart your um, system to do that. All right, general settings here. So you can disable your Windows key. I don't know why you want to do that. And you can switch your functional Windows key. You can also switch your GPU from here and you can uh, display a crosshair. Um, I think I made a video um, about I made a video about this crosshair with one of my friends. Uh, probably link that in the description as well. Uh, you can see the display power saver as well, which allows, which means basically if you turn it on, when you plug in your laptop, or well, I'm using a laptop, but you can use any M set device. If you plug in your device, then the refresh rate goes to the highest. And if you unplug, it goes to the lowest to save battery. Pretty, uh, pretty cool feature if you ask me, but I don't use it. Anyway, uh, I don't know what this USB power share thing is. I should probably, um, if you guys know, please let me know in the comments. Um, uh, you can reset your uh, settings if you want. I don't know why I want to do that. All right, let's look at uh, game highlights. So I'm I don't really know what this one is either. Um, I think it's like you can see the like highlights of your game. I think you have to install a, a plugin or something. Uh, MSI Companion. I don't know this one either. I think it's a like Windows key and G, and you can use a game bar. Uh, I have no idea about this one. If you guys know, if you guys know about the game highlights or the MSI Companion or literally anything I don't know in this video, please just tell me in the comments. Um, system diagnosis. All right. So here you can clean up your disk and memory. You can see how much storage you have, how much you've used, how much is free, the, the temperature and the model. Uh, Wi-Fi analysis. This is, well, I don't really know uh, about this one either. Uh, performance analysis. Basically, this is, um, well, what is this? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm not really sure about this one, but I, I'm not really sure about this tool. But uh, basically, this one I'm pretty sure allows you to see how much um a, a part has been used, um, how much a part has been used in a certain time period. All right. Now let's go for the final tool of the feature section: hardware diagnosis. This one basically you can test the hardware. Like, let's do a keyboard test. So uh, keep okay. Select your uh light status. Uh, mine's working. Yep. Next step. All right. When any key press the icon will become blue till the key is released. When any key up, okay, so if I click any key, you see, um, the, the tick turns a blue. And uh yeah, that's how you tell. So works pretty good. Now let's try a touch pad test. Uh you can right click, left click. Okay, this is really cool. When I, um you can actually like slide your finger and it will recognize it. Um you can slide it around the touch trackpad. Okay, so like that and then um bam, bam. all right done all right now let's go to the support section we got a live update 
So basically this here, Live Update is a tool that allows you to update your drivers. So you see all these drivers here, we got an audio, Bluetooth, the internet, all that, all this basically. You can scan it and it'll tell and it, it'll see if there's any uh, updates for your download. Right now, it, I, I don't have any updates because the download's great, but if you had a, but I imagine if you had an update, you need it would be it wouldn't it, it had an update to be ready to be installed. Still, um, it would be like a uh, knock right here, which means you were able to download the update. All right, so system info. This is just a your operating system, your product name, BIOS version, BIOS release date, all that stuff. Um, you can, there's a service section here. This is pretty cool. You have a MSI forum and a hotline. Oh yeah, cause I know in the hotline. But, uh, okay, uh, MSI recovery basically. Um, here. Um, this is like a recovery tool, I guess. There's a boot repair, which means I think it's like if your boot's not working, this kind of helps you uh, restore it. Um, backup, this is like backup your files and stuff. And uh, I don't know what this restore thing is. Alright, uh, feature sets here, this is pretty cool. You can uh, you can download, update, or uninstall MSI exclusive features in the page. Feel, feel free to build your own MSI Fender yeah, fee. Look, these are all the installed, remember? See, look. If you go feature, this is all the stuff, so performance analysis, game highlights, and it's like a pain in yeah. And let's just say, let's uninstall something. You can uninstall any of these. So I'm just going to uninstall the performance analysis just to show you. All right, yeah. And look, let's go down there's an install button. You can reinstall it if you want. Now, let's go settings. All right, here we are. So this is pretty cool. You have a uh, themes, but it's not just dark and light. So this is dark mode, light mode, and a dream mode. This looks pretty cool. Planet, this is the one that I use, and a contrast. Contrast. Uh, okay, so here you can choose a language: English, French, Italian, all the stuff. Uh, you can choose the temperature unit, so you can choose from Celsius to, to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius. Um, you can uh enable it to start uh so that MSI center uh it's like starts up as soon as you turn your system on. And yeah, uh, let's go here. Login. Basically, this is like um, I think this is like my uh, this is uh, my uh, it's my device here, and uh, you can see um, like your warranty status, and yeah, I think you can make an account. I'm not really sure about that. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably uh enough to cover for today. So I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, gamers.